You wait and go, P. Yeah. Where are we going? Are we going back home? Are we going to the Golden Knock? Yeah. You gonna be a good girl though? Yeah, whatever. Right, what are we doing? Going to the Golden Nook. Back to our mooring in Chester. So we're How gonna come? go and get a few bits that we need for camping and decorating the boat. So we thought we'd have a little impromptu gathering as well with our neighbours. So we're having a campfire barbecue tonight. Awesome. Few, few G and T's, bloody marvellous. So we're still reliant on the golden nook, really. Mhm. Mm yeah, we still use it as storage, don't we? And there's still an art studio half built there. <laughs> We've arrived at the golden nook, haven't we, Bean? Just unpacking the van and getting the barbecue campfire ready for tonight. Got to keep you in here though, haven't we? Because you can't run around after you're up. Not very happy. Luna! You good girl! Hey! Sit down! Luna! Sit! Oh, he's a good girl! weird being back in it. Yeah. yeah, I still think we need to keep hold of this place for another twelve months. Yeah. Our lives are up in the air at the minute, aren't they? Well that's the thing, isn't it? We can't make a decision about anything. Mm. You so. know, and while we've got the problems we've got well, with our parents and that. We're in the perfect position to move the boat, aren't we? Yeah. So we're in a good place, really, because we have that option. A lot of people couldn't say that. We can at least move closer while we need to, and then come back here if we want to. I mean, it's not dear, is it? No. It's like no. hundred pound a month. Well, hundred. Is it eighty pound a month? The gar and the garden. And the garden is sixty-seven. So 160 quid a month, 170. And technically, what do we need the end garden? Uh, no, we could sell that off for a bit. Ask him if but then can. I wonder if that's why CRT are being lenient with us, because we are paying that. Yeah. Oh, B. That was a good girl. No running about tonight. Okay. We're still getting better. It's a good girl. It's a good girl. I'll tell you what, that'd be that's perfect, isn't it? If we ever get to use it in the studio. Yeah, I think it nice, you know, maybe come here in the two week August break. Chill out for two weeks. Yeah. Use it as like um, an art revival. <laughs> art retreat. I'll we'll start charging people. Yeah. Would, would you come to an art retreat? <laughs> <sighs> so, hi guys. If you're new around here, this is our mooring. So this is the studio we built. Which I'm uh, proud to say is still standing. Um, it's our wood pile. That's the wife. <laughs> the wife. <laughs> <laughs> Shell. That's Shell, the wife. Looney is recovering from being spayed, so 
She can't run around quite as much as normal. So, it's the rest of the wood pile. Inside the shed. Oh, we didn't have to do the other one. Well, if you go get one. Okay. So, let's just show you what's going on in more wood. So this is our garden. Um, most things have survived. The kale's gone to flower. Broccoli's gone to flower. The sage and the rosemary is looking pretty good. Not the rosemary, the... What's that? Now the hawthorn blossom is looking amazing. Look at that. So yeah, feels feels proper strange. Well that's a quick run through. So what do you guys think? So those of you with a boat, have you got a mooring? How many of you are on a marina? How many of you are like us, end of garden? How many of you are continuous cruisers? And if you're waiting to get a boat, as I know a lot of you are, would you want a mooring like this? Let us know in the comments. Very interested to know how people view this, really. I mean, now we're back here. Yeah, it feels pretty special still. Yes, yeah, so we got a few um, camping trips lined up for the next couple of weekends, so we needed a few things from the mooring. So that's why we're back. Um, get everybody down for a hot dog, beer, and catch up, really. I miss everybody. We just, I think we're pretty much set up. We haven't got a knife, unfortunately. <laughs> so Shell's just uh, procuring a knife for us. So I can do my onions for the hot dogs. It's all very technical. It's nice being back. I, the app's quite good. You can you get the same vouchers you do in the post on the app. Sorry. <laughs> so you, if you get the app, I've lost. Hang on. Big reveal. Oh, way up, way up. Yeah, it just came off your boat and they jumped. Don't lean back. No. You can lean back. Or is this the teacher? You'll be alright, you'll be alright. That's Ace. Thanks, John. Thanks, John, love you. So, you're glad you came back? Yes. Why are you glad you came back? A reconnection to the space. And it is a beautiful space. And the art studio, work in progress art studio, is beautiful. It's in a gorgeous little setting. Just lovely. Um, yeah, nice to be back. Nice to connect with friends again. It's been quite emotional, actually. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> but a nice emotional. Not a. Last time we came, it was a negative. It was completely closed from the space. I wasn't interested. Whereas. Now I'm like, no, we need to keep this. It's special, it's really un unique. There's not a lot around here like this where you've got a little spot of land and you can build a little art studio and 
blah 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 blah. It's yeah, unique. I mean, I mean that is. It's unique. Yeah. It's very unique, and we're lucky. So, I think we keep it. We keep looking after our parents. We keep this, and we just come back here every now and then, see our friends, and have a few G and Ts now and then, like we've just done. Just perfect. So are there any definites that have come out of tonight? We need to keep them all in for another year. Definite. Is a definite. Um, tidy up the art studio. Put the little wood burner in. Put the flue in. Make a little bed so we can come here for a weekend. Got our own little Airbnb here, really. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's a special place. Mm, it is. I mean, it's so peaceful. And you think, like, Rich and Fran have been, like, searching the whole network somewhere. No, it is rare. I mean, to have the the freedom to build a little shed, and you just don't see it. I've seen one place in Middlewich on farmer's land where you can have, a, you know, a washing line and a bit of stuff, but there's no sheds or nothing. There is a little bit of land, but that's it. And then we've seen that place that you love, that one mooring in the whole of Cheshire. Oh. <laughs> which is just amazing near that bridge. Out of all the miles around us, that's the only one that actually belongs to him. Mm. Luna. I mean, there is those couple down... Just not far from the Golden Nook, isn't there? That are quite nice. That one that that woman's got right on that corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's all you rented off the farmer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's it. That's all I've seen. <whistles> no. Oh, there's just no land left, is there? <laughs> Pretty much, it's all owned by rich kids. <laughs> Yeah, good party last night. Yeah. Back to the boat. Back to the boat. Put loads of wild flowers in that thing. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put um, the, the yellow poppies. Yeah, just get a pack, couple of packets of wild flowers and just. Can I do that? There's all the poppies there. So, it's um, Sunday, it's the Sunday, the uh, day after the um, mooring party, and we're all feeling a bit tired, um, obviously, as you, uh, the older audience will know, your recovery times just get a bit longer when you're older, but uh, let me just show you the uh, current situation in the bedroom. Obviously, you hung over. 
do I look it? A little bit.